Michael Jackson was a larger-than-life icon with billions of fans, but his youngest son is happy to live privately. So who is he? From being bullied over his nickname to family court drama, Blanket, now B.G. Jackson, has dealt with many struggles in his life. B.G. Jackson was born into fame owing to his famous last name, but as far as public interest was concerned, his distinction of being Michael Jackson's son was just one half of the story. When the world learned that the King of Pop became a father a third time in 2002, there was curiosity about the identity of the child's mother. By then, Jackson had been divorced two years from his wife Debbie Rowe, with whom he shared his older children Prince Michael and Paris. Conspiracy theories abounded over Bee Gees' parentage, with Jackson coming forward to provide some clarity in the 2003 documentary Living with Michael Jackson. But I used to surrogate mother, and uh, she doesn't know me, I don't know her. After Jackson's death in 2009, The Mirror published an explosive report claiming that a Mexican nurse by the name of Elena birthed Bee Gees. Jackson apparently handpicked the surrogate from a list of women. Elena was paid a sum of $20,000 as her surrogacy fee and delivered the baby at Sharp Grossmont Hospital, California. The identity of the egg donor, however, remains undisclosed, with even Bee Gees birth certificate not reflecting the name of his mother. The whole world gasped when Jackson dangled a baby over a balcony back in 2002. The dangerous stunt quickly became one of the most bizarre acts pulled by the pop icon who had built up a notorious reputation for eccentricity. I love climbing trees. I think it's my favorite thing, having water balloon fights and climbing trees. The child, revealed to be nine-month-old BG, could be seen flailing his legs as he swayed precariously from the balcony of a Berlin hotel as his father gripped him with one arm. Jackson's other hand unbelievably held down a towel that covered Bee Gees' whole face. The antic may have only lasted a few seconds, but even the crowds below cried out in horror. The episode sparked outrage against Jackson, with many in the media even calling for his arrest for risking his child's life. Not, why would I throw a baby on the balcony? That's the dumbest, stupidest story I've ever heard. Ironically, Jackson had been in Germany to be honored for his philanthropic work toward children's welfare. After the incident, child welfare agencies told the public to avoid such actions, with child rights experts like Janice Spire saying, I would tell anyone who saw an adult dangling a child out of a window to call a child protection hotline and the police. Jackson ultimately acknowledged his mistake in a statement that read, I got caught up in the excitement of the moment I would never intentionally endanger the lives of my children. B.G. was only seven when Michael Jackson died of a drug overdose in 2009. Around the world, people grieved the loss of one of the most influential figures in music history. But the pop icon's youngest didn't yet have the language to process his father's sudden death. Even so, little B.G. was hardly immune to the consequences of the tragedy and was invariably looped into the activity surrounding Jackson's death. From being named in court cases to being hounded by the press, as the youngest of the lot, B.G. had the protective presence of siblings Prince and Paris around him. They grew into a tight three-member unit that drew strength from each other over the years. I think it's only made us stronger as siblings to have that bond, to have that very real relationship and raw relationship with each other. Between his siblings, B.G. spent the least amount of time with his father, but the impact Jackson left on his youngest child was significant. B.G. and his older siblings were thrown into the deep end of the media spotlight after his father's death. All eyes were on the Jackson kids, with every move they made recorded in the press for a global audience. B.G. remained a constant but silent companion to Prince and Paris during their public appearances and was exposed to more than his fair share of scrutiny far too early. One of the most unforgettable of such instances was when he attended his father's memorial service with tears in his eyes and a Michael Jackson doll in his hand. While B.G. never got the opportunity to watch his famous father perform live, he did enjoy Cirque du Soleil's Michael Jackson One production when it premiered in Las Vegas in 2013. He was spotted celebrating his father's legacy with Prince, who came to be one of his strongest supporters as he came to terms with his father's death. That said, the magnitude and aftermath of the tragedy barely made it easy for B.G. to deal with the situation, and according to insiders, he all but faded into the background at the Jackson household in later years. A source close to the family claimed to Page Six in 2017, "'This poor kid, he fends for himself. There's no one to make sure he's even eating right.'" He had a hard time adjusting after his, after his dad's death, so it kind of makes sense that he would maybe prefer a life out of the spotlight. 
Despite only being in his early 20s, Beachy has lived through many identities over the years. He was born Prince Michael Jackson II, sharing his name in varying degrees with his father and older brother. But beyond serving as a mark of his famous bloodline, the title didn't stick. A distinct personality was instead carved out for him in the global media as Blanket. The far-from-usual nickname apparently came from an expression Michael Jackson admitted to using often, telling those around him to blanket a person with something. It's like a, bl a blanket is a blessing. It's a, it's a way of uh, showing uh, love and caring. And so the pop star's youngest was iconically christened, but BG himself wasn't pleased with the kind of recognition the name got him. In fact, if sources for Radar Online are to be believed, he resented his dad for calling him Blanket and was apparently even bullied for it, an insider to the Jackson family told the outlet. Growing up, his schoolmates have always been slightly mean to him because of their jealousy over who he is, and going by Blanket made him a much easier target for ridicule. The circumstances led to him changing his name once again, and when he joined the Buckley School after his father's death, he started going by the name BG. Though his latest name is how he is often represented, his former nickname remains unforgettable. In recent years, among the only things that have been able to draw BG out of his privacy are tribute events for his father and his love of films. The latter has been an especially strong catalyst in giving BG an outlet to speak his mind. He showcased it most memorably on Film Family, a YouTube channel he started with his brother Prince and their cousin to review films. So we're hoping to bring an educated yet family-friendly vibe into the movie-watching arena. The channel premiered in 2019 with a review for Avengers Endgame, and over the course of one year managed to publish over 100 videos and amass over 50,000 subscribers. BG emerged as an especially popular member of this film-reviewing troupe. Prince attested to it in an interview with Entertainment Tonight, saying, "...my brother has a really unique talent to be able to tell you even a movie he hasn't seen. He'll tell you what year it came out, he knows the director, the staff, the crew, everybody behind it that you wouldn't know." Though the channel went inactive in 2020, BG went on to pursue his passion for films in an even bigger way. In 2024, BG directed the short film Rochelle's, a suspense drama that follows two friends as they compete for a restaurant job. True to form, BG kept things low-key when the film won Best Drama at the Santa Monica Film Festival. However, his older brother Prince did give a shout-out to his brother on his Instagram story, writing, "...bro is killing it, chasing his dreams and winning awards." Though information about BG's life is scarce, cinema seems to be one of his more apparent interests. According to Prince, the creatively-oriented Jackson siblings were acquainted with films early on, courtesy of a teacher assigned to them for this very purpose. It clearly made an impact on BG, who immersed himself in the world of film as he got older. Prince told ET Online, "...he really thinks and studies about film in a different way that you would notice, and that comes with his upbringing with my dad, encouraging him to study film." After his father's death, BG and his siblings came under the guardianship of their grandmother, Katherine Jackson. The family appeared to have shared a tight bond with Catherine's lawyer, stating in the years that followed that she had a great relationship with her grandchildren. The situation, however, doesn't seem to be as smooth as before, now that the Jackson children are adults. Things are especially tense between Catherine and BG, who took his grandmother to court in 2024 over a dispute concerning the pop icon's estate. The confrontation is supposedly rooted in a highly publicized deal between Sony and Jackson's estate, wherein the music giant bought out half of the singer's catalog for $600 million. After some initial opposition against the transaction, BG and his siblings acquiesced to the court's 2023 decision of letting the deal proceed. Catherine, however, was not convinced and filed an appeal against the co-executors of the Jackson estate for backing the transaction. She sought to rely on the estate for covering her legal fees, which BG said would be unfair, pointing to the high costs of legal proceedings that wouldn't benefit the estate. Catherine, in return, has claimed that her ask isn't significant enough to dent the Jackson estate, currently estimated to be valued at $2 billion.